It is often thought that medieval men and women did not care too much about personal hygiene or keeping clean. However, a closer look shows that baths and bathing were actually quite common in the Middle Ages, but in a different way than one might expect. The bathing habits and practices varied widely based on factors such as social status, location and cultural beliefs. The different class of society practiced hygiene differently at different times during the Middle Ages. At the bottom end of the cleanliness scale as one would expect with the manual laborers. Because they had neither large tubs nor sufficient fuel to heat water, bathing for them was generally limited to the summer months when they could wash off in a river or pond. However, it was basic good manners at all levels of society to at least wash your hands before eating. The poorer people in cities made use of public bathhouses some leftover from the Roman period. Speaking of the church, they varied wildly on whether or not bathing was a good thing or not. Wealthy monasteries often could pipe in water and have baths as well. Some monastic rules suggest that monks did not take regular baths. The monks of Westminster Abbey for example, were required to have a bath four times a year, at Christmas, Easter, the end of June and the end of September, while some monastic orders supported regular bathing. In the later Middle Ages and into the Renaissance, the middle class was especially prone to bathing, because having a tub and the means to heat the water to fill it was a status symbol. There was rarely a dedicated bathing room in houses, instead, the tub was brought into the bedroom, placed before the fire and filled there. For most people having a private bath was not an option, it was simply too costly and too time-consuming to have their own baths. That does not mean they went without bathing, for public baths were very common throughout Europe. By the 13th century one could find over 32 bathhouses in Paris. Bathing may have actually become less common among the wealthy as the Middle Ages became the Renaissance, as people began to think that bathing might unbalance the humours and lead to illness. But certainly people like Isabella of Castile, who boasted that she had only ever bathed twice, on the day she was born and the day she married was still in the minority. Royalty throughout Europe often entertained guests with baths, often trying to impress each other with how luxurious they could make it. 